This is Divine Honestine. I'm back for another reading. Today I'm going to be reading for my Leos. And today we're going to be talking about your ex. Okay? This can be reverse. Also, any type of ex that resonates with these cards. Not every reading is going to resonate. Um, you can also check out other readings on my channel um, if this does not resonate. Or if you just want a different perspective or another um, view on the relationship definitely feel free to look at other videos um then let's get started so the first card i'm going to read the oracle card we're just going to get your energy for may of 2020 what is the energy for leo for may of 2020 okay so that came out beautifully over your shoulder Ooh, over your shoulder so look over your shoulder if there's a decision that has to be made especially one that is significant for your life um or make you feel significant um think twice think and then think again okay think twice look over your shoulder also if something seems to be or feel that it's not right or not fair more than likely it's not okay so look over your shoulder that is for my leos all right and let's get into your ex what is the energy surrounding Leo's ex? What is the energy surrounding Leo's ex? Okay, let me take this one out. The Queen of Pentacles. Okay, so some of you could be dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, not all of us, or all of you. Energy surrounding the Leo. We have the Page of Cups. Okay, so some of this can be dealing with children, or you were very young, or that person was very young. Love, baby love, people can say. The energy surrounding Leo's ex. The three of swords. So this person did break your heart. Third party energy. Cheating could have been involved, or just betrayal. Let's get some clarity. Okay, so the Queen of Cups, I mean the Queen of Pentacles, this person is very stable. They view you as very stable. Um, also this person like to dress possibly like to, um, look good all about money. <laughs> okay. This person also, um, has a good worth ethic about their self. You never really see them broke. I mean, <laughs> 3000 in the bank could be good for them or could be good for you, but not for them. I was just, that's funny. Cause I was just talking to my Leo friend and that's what, Okay, they always feel like they have to be aspiring to be something, aspiring to do something. The material world, very dense, um, down to earth, very um, strategic in a way, but not in a way to where it's um, mental games, but more, I want this, I want to do that, I want to do this type of energy. Then the Page of Cups, it could be... Like I said, you guys could have been knowing each other for a very long time. Page of Cup represents a journey of love, okay? Um, it was a hard, it could have been that this person, you guys didn't just get together off the back. For some of you, yes, but for some of you, you knew each other for a minute before you actually got into a relationship with this person. Also, I'm saying this person really didn't give you the ultimate love that you need because it's not a king of cups it's not a queen of cups it's not a knight of cup it's a page of cup it's baby okay and they were immature the page of cups also represents immaturity represent um romantic endless romantic so this person can also be dealing with other people feeding the other other people lives you could be the other person or this person could have cheated on you and this is why we come to the three of hearts so okay? kind mean, of three of swords and there was some cheating, there was some backstab. I'm seeing some people did it because of the lifestyle. That's just who they thought they were. So this could be one of, the, like I said, this could be a young um, ex, okay? An ex from a long ago. So let's um, get some clarity. Why is the Queen of Pentacles here? Okay. Oh, so we have the Ten of Cups. Wow. So this person, they wanted a family. They wanted love. They wanted stability. I'm seeing that's what they wanted from you. Now, you could have broke this person's heart. This could be how they feel about you. You could have broke this person's heart. And then we have 
the seven of swords so it seems as if this person hmm was sneaky there were some lies they you this person didn't love you as you thought okay this person at the beginning represents some stability for you so maybe you weren't in a happy home or you weren't stable and this person brought that to your life that brought you stability that brought you happiness you felt like this is what a family's supposed to feel like or this is what a family's supposed to look like but it wasn't true love this person didn't really love their self enough so if you don't really love yourself you can never give another person true love you can never give another person endless love unconditional love because if you don't really and doesn't mean they hate themselves just because they don't love themselves some people and according uh, me as well you don't really know how to love yourself you're so used to being against yourself that loving yourself requires a whole reprogramming of your mind It's reminding yourself to love this yourself It's reminding yourself not to have negative thoughts so when you're not in that type of energy anything less than that it's not real love. You can't really love anyone unless they really love themselves because that's the only representation of true love. Okay? It's yourself. It's self-love. So, then you start noticing some sneaky shit. You start noticing some lies and betrayals. Now, let's get some clarification on the th uh, Three of Swords. Why is the Three of Swords here? The Three of Swords is here because of the Queen of Wands. So some of you can be dealing with a uh, Sagittarius, Leo, or Aries, the Queen of Wands, fire. So I'm seeing it's like they, the desires, they was just like, just like the Page of Cups. Their love came to them when it comes to physical. You have the Queen of Pentacles here, represents physical, represents earth. This is where their cup is pointed to, physical. And then you have the Queen of Wands represents passion, represents the phallic, represents dick, represents vagina, okay? Hotness. And that's why they cheated. So it's not, for some of you, you probably felt like they cheated on you um, because of you. No. Or anything that you did. It was because of their immaturity and their lust for their loins, okay? Their material aspect overwhelmed them. They weren't strong enough when it came to the material aspects of life, okay? They got intrigued and they got sucked in by their desires, okay? And like I said, this person can be immature. So, of course, they just want to fuck everything. Of course, they, they're not 100% focused on you. But they wanted a family. They wanted stability. But they didn't have that within themselves to be able to give to you, okay? It's a ma maturity thing. It's an understanding. It's a life learn lesson okay so don't blame yourself this person was just going through life this person was just going through life let's get some clarity hold on one second how did leo x feel about them how do leo x feel about them how do leo x feel about them the king of swords so they feel like you would definitely not let, for some of them, the, the king of swords represents cockiness. They feel like they can come and get you. They can get you back anytime you're willing to come. And for some of them, they look at you like you, you cut them out your motherfucking life. You would never go back to them. They know there's no guarantee. Okay. Or that's how they feel about you. Like, I, I wouldn't go back to that. You know what I'm saying? I wouldn't go. I know I hurt that person. I wouldn't go back to that. Um, let's get some clarity. Why is the King of Swords here? Okay. We have the High Priestess. Yeah, this is what they tell themselves. They also feel like you're stronger. Now you're not going to put up with certain things. And maybe their current relationship, that person puts up with certain things. And they know that you're not going to. So they know not to ever try anything with you. Because you're not going to put up with the same shit that they're willing to put other people um, through because you've been down that road also their secrets they still have they still have some shit to say there's some there's some things that they feel about you and there's some things that they say about you that you don't know of um <clears throat> but for the most part i see that they they don't really engage the idea with you they don't really have them you're not really on their mind like that and this is just the subconscious the high priestess speaks about the subconscious um, the your intuition, um, 
the unseen realm, okay, the um, unmaterialized realm. So things that are, are, are subconscious, basically. And then you have the king of swords, one who's very, has boundaries, okay? Um, cocky, arrogant, um, feel like they're right all the motherfucking time. So that's how they feel about you. Or this is just could be them. This is just their personality. They're very cocky. They feel like they know everything. They feel like, like I said, if they can get you back, they can. That's just that type of energy. <clears throat> what is something important to know about this ex? What is something important to know about this ex? What can Leo take away from this ex? We have the Ace of Wands. Okay, so the Ace of Wands represents love, desire, passion, a new journey, phallic sex. So for some of you, you can take some of the sex things you learn from this relationship into other relationships that you already have. For some of this, it's just <laughs> make sure the passion is legit. Make sure you're putting your all and your energy into somewhere where it's not smoke. To where it's, uh, it, until where it's and full materialization to where it's just it's not just an idea in that person's head because some people tell you an idea because that's how they believe that's how they think they think of ideas it's always in the subconscious realm they can never really bring it to fruition so while they could be telling you yeah i love you i want to be in a relationship which is they could really be thinking that do they really know how to bring that to fruition and that's what this ex represented Knowing how to differentiate between people who want something and people who have the capability of making something. Be with someone who are creators, not to the ones who want to create. Because through the whole relationship, that's all they're going to want to do, want to create. They're never going to be creating shit with you. Let's get a um, clarity card. Why is the Ace of Wands here? We have the Empress. Wow. So this could be another Cancer, okay? Um, also, I see Taurus with this card, okay? Now, for the Empress to represent the Ace of Wands, children. For some of you, children um, was the learning point of this relationship. Um, also, for some of you, it's just like I said, the Empress breeds creation, it's creating. So it just verify what I was saying. Some people do know how to talk a good game, but when it comes to actually making shit happen, they don't have that energy. And if you see that within any relationship during your life, it's meant for you because obviously you're lacking that too. Um, every situation, every relationship, every scenario that comes in your life, Leo, is because of you. It's your perception. It's your reality, okay? So, see that shit. Now, I'm going to go um, pull a arc of cards. What's the best advice we have for Leo? What is the best advice we have for Leo? The star mother. Wow, creation, creation, creation. So, some of y'all might be pregnant or getting pregnant or talking about children. Um, how can you How can you mother yourself, okay? So, what this is, look at yourself. How can you give the energy and the love that you needed from anyone else, from any other relationship, give it to yourself? What would that look like? What would that look like? Giving it to yourself, what would that look like? For someone, you want someone to do this for you. You want someone to always be there for you. You want someone to be emotionally available to you. You want someone who you can wake up in the morning and do everything with. Someone who is your partner. What about you? Are you that to your damn self? Because if you're not that to your damn self, how the hell are you going to attract it? Now, this is a beautiful card because this allows me to understand that too. How are you going to attract something that you're not? All right. And with that, thank you for viewing. If you have any questions about the reading, if you want more clarity, you can definitely hit me up down below. I'm more than happy to um, pull another card for you. Anything extra. You can definitely hit my email if you want to just an extensive, um, <clears throat> intense reading. You can definitely 
hit me up in, in the description at my email address and we can definitely set that up for you, okay? And thank you for watching. Have a wonderful day.